Hey guys, welcome back to Huga House. Today's video is a bedroom and bathroom cleanup. I will be tackling the master bathroom and bedroom as well as my kids' bathroom. So I hope that you enjoy and that it gives you the motivation you need to tackle your day. Um, and please stick around to the end if you are interested. I am also including a easy recipe that you can follow. This recipe could be a snack or it could be a light dinner. So I hope you enjoy and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below.
So this recipe is super simple and can be made with many of the things that you probably already have on hand in your house. You might want to pick up this roll of crescent rolls if you don't already have it. Um, so all the recipe calls for is one roll of these crescent rolls. These ones are from Aldi, you can obviously get these anywhere. And you will also need some lunch meat and some sliced cheese. So all you're going to want to do is unroll your crescent roll so that it's one flat sheet and you're going to want to seal up the seams in between the rolls so just press them together as best as you can so that there's no spaces in between and you can also use a rolling pin to make sure that the dough is flat and that the seams seal together. Once you have your crescent dough uh, pretty much sealed and one flat piece, you're going to add your lunch meat. And this can be any type of lunch meat that you have on hand. I believe that I was using some rotisserie chicken this, um, for this particular roll. And you're just going to want to lay it out flat on top of the crescent roll. Yeah, baby, I want to make your body mine.
then the next step is to just add your cheese on top of the lunch meat. And I was using some sliced mozzarella. So once you have all your meat and cheese laid on top of the crescent roll dough, you're going to roll it into a tube and then you are going to cut it into slices. And you can decide how thick you want your slices to be. And as you're rolling, you're just going to want to make sure that you uh, cover up any cracks that may form in the crescent roll dough. I believe I sliced my roll into about 12 or 13 pieces, so mine were somewhat thin. They do tend to rise in the oven, so you don't want to make them too thick. And then you're just going to transfer each of the rolls into a baking sheet and I would suggest that you spray your baking sheet or I'm sorry your glass pan uh, with some cooking spray so that they don't stick although the crescent rolls probably already do have a lot of oil in them so I wouldn't worry too much about it So once you have all your rolls in the glass pan, you are going to want to cover them in this sauce mixture and I will include the recipe so that you can follow the exact measurements and ingredients for the sauce instead of me trying to tell you them here. Um, I will also leave the uh, recipe so that you can find the time that you need to leave them in the oven as well as the oven temperature. Um, these rolls are very good. I originally had them at one of my baby showers. My mom made them from a Pinterest recipe and they're just super yummy. They are not very good for you because they do have butter all over them, but they are super yummy because they do have butter on them. So I hope that you enjoy and I will see you for the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.